Hi, in this class we will continue our study of numbers and the next topic that we are going to see is introduction to integers. So let us now get introduced to integers. So far we had seen what are whole numbers and natural numbers and so I have represented natural numbers and whole numbers on this number line. So this is my number line that extends on both sides and on this number line I have plotted the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and such points. Now if you look at these points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on then all these points when combined make up the set of natural numbers. Similarly if you also include 0 we get a list of what are called whole numbers. So now we also seen operation on natural numbers and whole numbers. We had seen operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and now we will see the operation subtraction but in a greater detail. Well, we know that when we take two numbers, so let us assume that we are taking two numbers 5 and 3 and so if we want to find 5 minus 3 that is if we subtract 3 from 5 the answer that we get is 2. Well, this is all good because now we are subtracting one whole number from the other and the answer that we get is again a whole number. But suppose if we get an answer such as or suppose we have an expression such as 3 minus 5 then in this case because 3 is less than 5 3 minus 5 becomes a little difficult or we do not know that it will be what number it will give us. In other words 3 minus 5 cannot be a natural number it can also not be a whole number because if you look at this operation if you start at 3 because we are doing 3 minus 5 so we start at the value 3 then because we are doing minus 5 and we know that whenever we added something to this number we always move to the right. In this case we are subtracting something from the number 3 and so we will move to the left but we will move 5 steps to the left because this subtract value being subtracted is 5. So from here if you move 5 steps this becomes the first step, this becomes the second step, this becomes the third step and what will we do now? Because we know numbers only till 0, we cannot do anything beyond 0. And so if we take equidistant points to continue this number line on the left side of 0, then we can take 5 jumps. So the first jump from 3 was to 2, the second jump was from 2 to 1, the third jump was from 1 to 0, the fourth jump will be this and finally the fifth jump will be this. So now we have already done the operation 3 minus 5 on the number line but now we have reached this point and we need a certain type of symbol to represent this point with. So in this case whenever we are dealing with numbers to the left of 0 on the number line then we will call such numbers negative numbers. So now note that because we could not write 3 minus 5 with our regular set of whole and natural numbers we need to invent new numbers and these new numbers are called integers. So integers are numbers that do not come naturally into counting so they are not natural numbers. Also they are not whole numbers but integers are numbers that are beyond natural and whole numbers. So integers consist of all the whole numbers that we know and in addition to that it also contains some more numbers on the left hand side of 0. So all these points which extend without ever stopping are called integers. So this point is an integer, this point is an integer. Similarly all these points on the number line are integers wherein the distance of this integer from 0 is same as the distance of this integer from 0. So if you look at this distance from 0 to 1 and if we take an equal distance on the left hand side then you will get this number as minus 1 and it is this negative sign that represents that this is a negative number. So what have we done? Well first we drew a number line and on that we located some point 0 somewhere at the center and then we wrote the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 as usual on the right hand side of 0. But now we are also expanding or inventing new numbers that are on the left hand side of 0. And these numbers are minus 1 which will be followed by minus 2, followed by minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on without ever stopping. Now if you look at this number line you realize that 0 is the central most number and numbers on the right are exactly replicas of numbers on the left. So here we have a 1, here also we have a 1. But here the 1 is with a minus sign. Similarly here we have a 2, here we have a minus 2, here we have a 3 and here there is a minus 3 and so on. So if you realize that all these numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 will go on without ever stopping and so this list that we've got of all numbers such that we include positive numbers in that list, we also include 0 in that list and we also include these negative numbers in that list. So these are negative numbers. So now these numbers from 1 
right up till forever the numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 that go on without ever stopping are called positive numbers and similarly the numbers on the left hand side of 0 are the negative numbers so now we know what are negative numbers and positive numbers and there is a one zero at the center so this is a zero and now if you combine all the positive numbers if you combine a zero and if you combine all the negative numbers then a combination of these three will result in what we call the set of integers or the list of integers so suppose we want to represent integers then examples of integers will be numbers such as all positive numbers so 1 2 3 4 and so on will be a part of integers in addition to that 0 will also be a part of integers and similarly these negative numbers will also be a part of integers so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on are all integers note that this list of integers goes on on both sides without ever stopping so we have now seen what integers are and further how do these integers solve our problem well if you remember in the first place we were considering the operation 3 minus 5 and because this operation brought us on the left hand side of 0 we could we didn't know what to do because by then we did not have any symbols for these numbers but now we know that this is minus 1 this point is minus 2 and so when you take 5 jumps to the left of 3 you will reach a number minus 2 and it is this number that we will put here so 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 2 and in this way we have described what integers are well let us now see some more properties of integers so now we've seen what we mean by integers. Now let us revisit the number line once more. So I'm drawing the number line once again for better clarity of concept. And so if you take this number line and locate a point roughly at the center of this, then this point can be called zero. All points to the right of zero are positive. And so one step, if you go right to of zero, you get one. Now continuing in this manner, the second point is two, then you have a three, then you have a four, five, six, seven, and so on. Now this continues. And we know that all these numbers are known as positive numbers, also called as natural numbers. Now, when you include the zero as well, then the list that you get consisting of zero and all positive numbers is called the list of whole numbers. So this zero, we will call as zero itself. And now moving to the left hand side of zero, you know that this point is minus one, this is minus two, this is minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on without ever stopping. So this list continues to go on. Now. Note that all these numbers were called positive numbers because they were on the right hand side of 0 but all these numbers are on the left hand side of 0 and so these will be called negative numbers. So these are our negative numbers and when you combine all the positive numbers 0 and all the negative numbers then what you get is set of integers or a list of integers. So this is the list of integers consisting of numbers such as minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on on both sides. So even beyond minus 5 you have minus 6, minus 7 and so on. And so this number line extends on both sides without ever stopping. Now we have so far seen what are negative numbers and what are positive numbers and we also seen what 0 is. Well positive numbers were the first to be invented because we wanted to count the number of things. So they can either be one thing, two things, three things or such number of things which we represented by positive numbers. However if there is absence of anything and now if there are no number of things that is this level of nothingness or emptiness is counted or represented by the symbol zero and so we have this symbol zero as a part of our counting because if there are no things then we say that there are zero things but coming to the left hand side of zero you'll realize that these are all negative numbers and how did these negative numbers come into being well to understand the origin of these negative numbers let us see a small real life example assume that you are standing on level ground so you're some standing somewhere here and you want to measure the height of this building that is in front of you. Now because you are at this level you will call this as having the height 0 because this point is at your level itself so the height of this point is 0. If you go one step further if you go one step up then you will get this is the height represented by the number 1. Similarly if you go one more step up then this can be level 2 this can be level 3 and so on. But now after deciding the levels you now look down and you realize that there is a big water body here. So there is a lake or any other water body here below your level. And so now you realize that this was not indeed the lowest level. There is also a level below zero. And to represent this level that is below zero, we can use negative numbers. And so this will be level minus one. This will be level minus two and so on. So now we've seen how negative numbers can be used to extend our understanding of this physical world.
So now we've seen what integers are. Whenever you combine positive numbers with negative numbers and you also include a zero in it, then we, the set that we get is known as the set of integers or the list of integers.